What's up, YouTube? I'm Galadite74 here, bringing you our Week 2 IBA battle. In this battle, we are facing Pokemaster Mike and his New York Muse. Make sure to go check out his links, as well as every other wonderful coach in the description below. Uh, I've been having problems with the team builder, so if there is no team builder before I upload this, I apologize, and you might, guys might be a little confused on my sets. I'm just going to go over the moves real quick. Uh, I'm bringing Tox Specs with Scald, Poison Jab, Recover, and Haze. Skarmory with Stealth Rock, Roost, Iron Head, Defog. Megalopinu with Fake Out, Low Kick, Frustration, and Baton Pass. Chandelure with the Fire MZ with Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Taunt, and Will-O-Wisp. Raikou with the Assault Vest with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Water, and Shadow Ball. And lastly, I'm bringing Latias with Culberberry with Wish, Thunder Wave, Asai Shock, and Healing Wish. Mm, excuse me. Uh, so that is the quick rundown of my team. Uh, I apologize, I'm still a little sick, so I might sound like terrible. And I might have a lot of cuts in this, so... There's that, and I also haven't watched the battle as much recently, because this happened a little bit ago. By the way, thank you to uh, the person who recorded my video. I can't even attempt to put their name in, because pronouncing that name is literally impossible. But his link will be in the description below, as always, and thanks to Odds for getting my team. Uh, so yeah, the quality is going to be better, because we got it recorded. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go into the battle. So I'm going to keep it real with you guys, uh, this is a pretty long battle. This in real time lasted about 53 minutes, so it almost went to time, but quite didn't. I'm going to spoil what happened in the end, but it, it is a long battle, so there's a lot of turns. There's a lot to talk about. So he leads with his Tapu Fini. I decided to lead off his Skarmory, thinking I could get up hazards. Uh, I know it would be pretty important, because you know switching around is pretty big. Uh, this isn't really a matchup I want to take, considering... Uh, Nature's Madness does a lot and Surf does a lot, so I'm thinking Toxpest can take any hit from Tapu Fini because that is my main Tapu Fini switch in. So I switch into Red Menace here, and it turns out he actually uh, brought a very interesting set. He brought Trick. Now, I thought this was really funny because I was thinking before this game, I'm thinking, okay, Klefki is going to have Switcheroo and like Choice Scarf or something like that. Um, <coughs> but it turns out Tapu Fini actually had the Trick, so I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I have a Choice Specs now, which kind of sucks, but the good thing is. Tapu Fini does not have reliable recovery, and I just gave it a Black Sludge, so I don't mind having a Black Sludge on my uh, on Tapu Fini. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go for Scald here because I predicted Tapu Fini to switch out because there's no way he's going to stay in because he can't do anything to me. Luckily, I catch, catch the Rotom Heat coming in. Now, I don't Rotom Heat I really hate, and I don't know what type of set this Rotom Heat's going to be. So I decided to switch out and go into Latias because Latias is here just to take hits this week. Uh, particularly from this Rotom Heat. He goes for the Volt Switch, and after seeing this damage, I learned that he's definitely not Choice Specs. So that was a really big uh, plus for me, and no, no Life Orb either, so I was happy about that. Uh, here comes the uh, other big threat of his team, uh, Mamoswan. Mamoswan is pretty scary. Uh, I definitely can't stay in for this. Uh, I can go into Skarmory, because Skarmory is my main switch into this Mamoswan, and it's going to be throughout the match. Uh, he does go for Stealth Rock, however, and that was a good play on his part, because I could have just went for like a Psy Shock and got damage, but you know, props to him. Uh, here he is going to switch out, probably fearing the Iron Head, which I do have, and going back into his Rotom Heat. Now, I do just go for the, uh, Stealth Rocks here, because I didn't think he would stay in, and if he did, I could live any hit, of course, and then Roost off, blah blah blah. Uh, but there's that, uh, this Rotom Heat's got left over, so he's gonna heal up a little bit. Oh, excuse me, and the Mist disappears. So now, um, I forgot what I do. Okay, I switch out, and I believe I go back into the Latias. No, I go into Raikou, my bad. I go into Raikou because I know I can take any hit now. It's definitely not Choice Specs. Uh, Overheat was kind of threatening, but if he goes for Volt Switch, that's fine. Uh, as he goes for the Pain Split, which was a good bring. Uh, I, I hate Pain Split, to be honest. I really hate Pain Split. But with Rotom having such low HP, it's actually a good move on it. Uh, I do have the Hidden Power Water, and that's exactly what I'm going to go for. And it does, you'll see here that it does a decent amount of damage, but you can tell he does have some special bulk in him, considering how he took that. Or he's just got max HP. Regardless, he's just going to Volt Switch out of there. So I know he's got Volt Switch and Pain Split now. It's good to know his set a little more. Uh, he's going to go out into his Gudra. Now this thing's really scary because I don't really have a good switch in if I predict wrong. So I decide, you know, I, I can just Volt Switch out of here, see what he's going to do. Get a little chip because, again, Gudra does not have reliable recovery. So I can go out into Latias and take whatever hit. If I die, I die. I don't really care too much, but at least I'll know what it's going to have. Uh, take some Stealth Rocks damage, and he does go for the Dragon Pulse, telling me he does not have Earthquake, and he's more of a special set. However, this just does a chunk of damage. It, somehow I do live, which is good, and since I haven't really shown off my set yet, he's probably fearing the strong Dragon move, so he is going to switch out. He is going to go into his Clef Key, which is pretty annoying. Uh, I decided here I just want to get some damage off if I'm going to sack off my Latias, but since he switched out, I can actually preserve Latias to uh, sack bait later, which uh, I, I end up doing, because... I can tell if this Klefki 
he's going to have like Daz and Gleam or Play Rough or something like that. I can tell right now because he's going to want to finish off this Latias. But he does end up going for the Defog knowing that I can just not hit it too hard. So that was a, another good play on his part. Uh, it's good to know his set though because I'm fearing Thunder Wave on this thing. Uh, so there's that. Luckily, Klefki can't touch Skarmory, and Iron Head just does a decent amount into it. So he's going to go back out into Rotom Heat, and I believe I predicted it this turn and went into using Stealth Rock. No, I went for Iron Head. Uh, Iron Head's going to do absolutely nothing, which, you know, duh, to Iron Head on a Rotom Heat. Uh, for some reason, I thought I predicted that Stealth Rock play. Uh, but anyway, uh, here, uh, after these leftover recovery, I make a really good play, I believe. Uh, I switch out, yeah, I switch back out on the Latias, right? I'm thinking, okay, is this time to sack it off now? Because it's probably going to go for the overheat. Uh, this Latias actually uh, takes this Volt Switch, believe it or not, right here. That's wild. I was really happy about that because now uh, he's got to go back out into Klefki, I believe, to uh, sponge any hit Latias is going to send its way, which it does. He does go back out into it. Uh, here I switch back out using, again, Latias has just been trying, I've been trying to sack this thing off forever, but I, I still have it around. Uh, I go out on the Tox Specs because it also can't hit Tox Specs too hard. Uh, I do learn now that it has Dazzling Gleam, which is just fine. Uh, Tox Specs and Skarmory can take this pretty well. That's a crit. See how little damage that does for a crit. Uh, and then he reveals his Light Screen, and now I'm just annoyed. I'm just like, oh, he's got screens. So he's got Light Screen, uh, Dazzling Gleam, and Defog. I go for a Scald here just trying to get a Scummy Burn. And, of course, you know, turn one, I get burned. So I guess that's a little luck on our part. Uh, chip this thing down a little bit. Now, I'm worrying for that last move if he has Reflect or Thunder Wave, because if he doesn't have Thunder Wave, then my Megalophony can do pretty good work to it. Uh, uh, he sends out his Tangerus now. This is where everything starts. Uh, I go for Scald again just to get more chip damage. Now I'm kind of hoping for a burn on this Tangerus, and uh, I don't get it. Uh, that's fine. I got it the first time around on Klefki, so it makes sense. Now, this Tangerus is really annoying, and I didn't really realize how annoying it would be. It's got Leech Seed. Uh, it misses first turn. I feel bad. Sorry, man. Uh, I go for Skull, just try and get the burn, fishing for the burn. I know I can live any hit from this thing. Still don't get the burn. He's just going to recover all that Skull damage up. Uh, again, I'm not really trying to get, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, um, what's it called, do damage with it. Uh, I have to switch back out on the Skarmory now. I know he's going to go for Lead Sheet, but uh, he actually goes for Earthquake this turn, which I guess I predicted. I didn't really predict it, but you know. Uh, I'm learning his set more now. He's got Lead Sheet, Earthquake. I'm assuming he's got a Grass Sight move. And then that last move I was thinking is probably going to be either HP Fire or Knockoff. Uh, here I decide to, um, well he switches out this turn <coughs> and goes in the Rotom Heat. And I think this is the turn I went for Stealth Rocks. Yeah, I went for Stealth Rocks this turn. So now he's got to bring Klefki out at some point and take extra chip damage. Now uh, he's going to take some leftovers, dam leftovers recovery. Uh, and I believe this next turn... I switch out here back into Latias or Raikou. Yeah, it was Raikou. Okay, it was one of the two. I knew it was one of the two. Now, I switch it back into Raikou because I don't think he's going to go for Overheat on my uh, Skarmory, considering Volt Switch exists. As he does, just go for the Volt Switch into Raikou. I prefer Raikou being out because Raikou can hit more of his team harder than the uh, Latias can. Uh, he does go back out into this Tangerith, and you'll see this Tangerith is a problem with Regenerator. It gets all of its health back. Uh, and of course, Raikou, this is the one mod that he can't really hit too well, considering three of my four moves are not very effective and shadow ball just doesn't do much so i just go for the voltage here get a little bit of chip that doesn't really matter too much and it, 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 let, it lets me know if he was going to double out into something that's why i went for voltage there uh, i go back on the tox specs and this is kind of my main thing because tangers can't really touch tox specs i can't really touch it but it goes for knockoff here which is really good because it knocks off the choice specs and finally giving me some breathing room to use more than just scald or poison jab uh, I believe here I end up going for the Poison Jab as he goes for the Earthquake. Uh, it's not going to do much damage because it's it's not Stab. He probably has no investment into attack. And it's, it's a freaking Tox Specs. So I do go for Poison Jab this turn, hoping for the Poison. I'm just trying to get some status on this Tangrowth because if it gets status, it becomes a little less useful. Leech Seed Recovery isn't as effective. Our Regenerator isn't really as effective. So that's why I'm, I've been trying to fish for status against this uh, Tangrowth. Uh, he mentions Leech Seed again. Uh, sorry. As I just recover up, it, I don't think it matters too much, but, you know, it's just bad luck to miss two leech seeds, leech seeds like that. Uh, he's gonna get more health back. I I don't, honestly don't remember what happened after this. Uh, you can tell I kind of zone out a lot when I when it was a Tox Specs versus Tang Growth in this match, as it will happen a lot. Uh, I'm going for Poison Jab just to, you know, see if I can get this poison off. And you'll see here that I, I still don't get this poison or burn, so it's status is pretty annoying. So there was a cut there, sorry, I uh, just had to, you know, 
<laughs> refresh my mind a little bit because I'm just really clueless about this battle at this point. Because I'm again, I'm recording this days after the battle actually happened. But uh, here he reveals his, reveals his full set of Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Earthquake, and Knockoff. Uh, I am just going for Poison Jab, trying to get some status on this thing, but this game really just doesn't like me, and it just still hasn't given me anything. So that's kind of annoying, but, you know, what you gonna do about it? It's Pokemon. Um, while these few turns are still happen, I'm just gonna go over uh, some things I'm kind of shocked about, because I forgot to mention them in the beginning of the video. Uh, I was shocked that you didn't bring Mega Glade. That really kind of shocked me. Uh, right here, I actually just wanted to get rid of this Leech Seed, and, um switch out into the Skarmory, because Skarmory can kind of deal with the Tangros as well, knowing it doesn't have HP Fire now. But he goes down the Klefki, which actually really puts me in a nice position to uh, get some extra damage on this Klefki, because again, Klefki does not have <coughs> reliable recovery, excuse me. Uh, he's just going to defog here, get rid of these rocks, because the rocks hurt the Rotom quite often, quite a lot. And I'm just going for Iron Head to get more damage off on this thing, because I Klefki is annoying, I want this thing dead, and it does a decent amount of damage. Uh, it might be either specially defensive, considering I have no attack EVs whatsoever, I don't think. Uh, he switches out to preserve the Klefki for later, which is fine, uh, and he goes into Gudra. Now, here I go for the Stealth Rock, thinking I'm going to let this thing die to burn while I can just keep getting Stealth Rocks up. So that was my thought process there. Uh, this is, again, another problem, because Gudra just hits my entire team hard. I go to Raikou here, making, I'm thinking, okay, you know, we gotta start making plays here in this game if we want to get anywhere past this Gudra and Tangrowth combo. Uh, he goes for Thunderbolt, which is, you know, I kind of expected that. Uh, it does nothing. And here's where I'm thinking, you know what, uh, I need to get some damage on this Gudra, because this Gudra is the most, the biggest problem on his team. I know this Tangrowth is kind of really annoying to deal with, but I still have Chandelure in the back that can just destroy it. I just need a clean switch in. So I'm thinking, let's just get some chip damage on this Gudra. Uh, Shadow Ball is my best hitting move against this Gudra uh, with this Raikou, and you can see it's, I mean, I'm not doing much. I guess with Death Drop, which is kind of nice, but he's going to take out my Raikou with the Dragon Pulse here, and the first Pokemon f of the battle finally goes down, and it's my Raikou. That's fine, because now Gudra's in range of a Fake Out Low Kick, uh, so it gives me a chance to send in uh, Lopunny here. Um, the only thing I was really scared about at this point was the Gudra's Gooey. Uh, I went for Fake Out still to ensure the kill with the Low Kick next turn, but he goes back out on the Tangrowth, and, and, you know, this thing is just a defensive wall. Uh, I'm going to Mega Evolve here, and I do go for the Fake Out. Again, same reason, because Gudra wants to get Fake Out low kick the Gudra. But, you know, this thing does not really take much hits from... I mean, this thing cannot really hit Tangrowth too hard. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so Fake Out, you can see it doesn't really do much. Leftovers basically just recovers all that back. So I have Baton Pass on here, so I decided to Baton Pass out again to see if he would double out into anything. I doubt he would, but, you know, the off chance. Now here I have just, you know, one of my two walls I go back into, or go back into the Tox Specs, and, you know, the whole thing goes over again. Uh, he goes for Leech Seed, he's going to do Giga Drain, Earthquake, all this nonsense. Uh, as long as I get, <laughs> I need some status on this thing, to be honest. Once I get status on this thing, I would prefer Skarmory against this Tangra, because just, Tangra can't touch Skarmory. While Earthquake and Giga Drain still do some damage to this Toxpex, but I really want this poison on this Tangrowth because you know it'll do more damage on the burn. So I decided that would be the better best case scenario. He does make a nice switch in, into Klefki, thus Poison Jab does not do anything, and he does get a little bit of recovery from this Leech Seed. Uh, therefore, he won't die to burn. I'm not sure if he would have died to burn in the first place, but that that was smart uh, trying to get more Leech Seed recovery on his other Mons. However, this gives me a good chance to go back into Skarmory because, again, Klefki cannot touch Skarmory whatsoever, and I can touch it. So he's probably just going to go for the default here to get rid of these rocks, which he does. I kind of predicted that to happen. Now here, I can do one of two things. I can pressure him with Stealth Rock damage, or I can go for Iron Head. I, I was going back and forth between this because I'm thinking it could be the same cycle all over again, but I decided just to go for Stealth Rock. He stays in, actually, so he's just thinking, okay, I just don't want rocks on my side of the field. But he actually doesn't go for Defog, he just goes for Dazzling Gleam to get some damage off. Uh, he does have Prankster, so now I think about it, that's probably why he did that, because he can he can click Defog this turn. Oh, and then I'll, if I click Stealth Rock, then, you know, now I'm thinking about it out loud. Uh, he goes for the Defog, while I believe I go for Stealth Rocks? I don't quite remember what I go for this turn. I think I go for Stealth Rocks this turn, uh, while he goes for Defog. Yeah, I do for go for Stealth Rocks, and he's going to die from the burn. So that's really good, because now... I have Defog on my Skarmory, so if he starts putting hazards on my side of the field, I might have to use Defog, but it's on my choice that I can get rid of the hazards on his side of the field now. So that's good. Klefki goes down to Toxpex's burn, so Toxpex actually gets the kill there. Uh, now, I remember Pete's going to come in and take a bunch of rocks damage, which is really nice. 
here is where for about like the 18th time I try to sack off this Latias here and <laughs> you'll, you'll see in a second I have four health I, I ain't living a hit but he actually goes for the paint split and since I have low health it actually recovers me up a little more so this is just this is just pretty funny at this point how this Latias just doesn't die uh, here I'm thinking I might be in range for a side shock if he's specially defensive, so I'm just gonna go for it. And he actually stays in, which is really nice uh, because this Rotom Heat is gonna go down. I believe he would have lived rocks if he switched out one more time, so I'm not sure what the whole thought process there was. But down goes Rotom Heat, and we're looking much better now because Rotom Heat is kind of a threat, and his two of his big walls are down of the four that he brought. So all we got is uh, wall wise is Tangrowth and Tapu Fini now. Tapu Fini is barely a wall because it's an offensive set. Uh, he switched in top of Fini. Uh, I don't know why um, he switched back out. Uh, I'm just trying uh, again. I'm just trying to sack this thing at this point. Uh, I go for Wish though for the off chance that he didn't attack me, which he didn't. And now I can possibly switch out, and I do switch out back into the Skarmory, I believe. So if Mamoswan goes for the Escal Crash, I can just get all my health back. In which he actually goes for the knockoff, knocks off my leftovers, which is a little annoying, but we can deal with it. Uh, Wish comes back there. Now I'm all back at full. Now, in my mind, he's probably just going to go back out into the Tangrowth now, which is exactly what he doesn't do. And he goes to Tapu Fini, because I don't remember this battle, and I suck. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I go for Iron Head. Uh, another mod that doesn't really get reliable recovery, so this Iron Head was pretty big. Uh, he does have the Black Sludge, which weakens him even more now. Tapu Fini is getting really low to the point where I can't switch in too many times. So the good thing is, I'm really whittling his team down a lot. And the only thing in my way is the Tangrowth and the Gudra. Uh, he goes for Trick again, and he's just having really bad luck with this Trick, because I get my Black Sludge back, and he doesn't get anything, because he knocked off my item earlier. So now I'm going to get Reliable Recovery again from the Toxpex, or a little bit of Chip Recovery. Uh, out here, he goes and switches back into the Mamoswan. Now this thing's pretty scary, because I believe Earthquake can one-shot? No, no, Earthquake doesn't one-shot, but I can't. I don't want to risk staying in, because I need this thing for the Tangrowth. I go for the Poison Jab, uh, a little damage, not much, but you know. Uh, I have to go back out into Skarmory now, because Skarmory is the only thing that can take hits from this Mamoswine, as I've said in the past. Uh, he's probably going to go for rocks here, and he does go for rocks. I, I had that thought in the back of my mind, thinking he's going to force me to defog at some point, which he does, which was a smart play. Uh, he keeps switching out. I'm starting to learn, thinking that this thing might be choiced. I didn't really think about it during the battle. I mean, right after the battle, I started thinking about it more. But uh, here I decide uh, to just go for the Iron Head to get some damage on the Mamoswine, but, you know, in comes the Tangrowth. And this thing is a kind of a problem. Again, the Chandelure can come in and just destroy it, but the thing is, Chandelure doesn't have a clean switch in. But the rocks on my side of the field, and this thing having Earthquake and Knockoff, it's just, it's just too risky to bring it in on the Tangrowth. And I know most times he just goes for Leech Seed, but even then, it's still risky. So I go into Toxpex here, again, I'm going repeat this process to just try and get status against this thing uh preferably poison now uh so yeah there's that we have a little bit of extra recovery here so yeah there's that i apologize if i'm just rambling on at this point it's just a lot of recovery stall blah 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 uh i double out for whatever reason back into the skarmory uh to probably defog out this was actually a misplay on my part now i think about it i remember this now in my head I went to defog. I should have just defogged the first time instead of taking that extra leechy damage. Not that it really matters because I have regenerator, but you know, just you know, wasted time at this point, right? So I, I'm thinking, you know, the stealth rocks actually really just aren't good for my team, particularly the Chandelure. I really don't want Chandelure taking any rocks damage, just in case I need to take a hit from uh, this this Gudra right here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so I just do go for the defog. Uh, again, this Gudra is the biggest problem because I don't really have a switch in on it. Uh, so here I had to switch out. I, did, I didn't know what to do at this point. This was a pretty big point in the match where I'm just like, what's, what's this thing going to go for? So this is where I send in the Latias, Ladia, and he goes for the Thunderbolt, and I, I, I'm literally crying on the floor laughing that this Latias just hasn't died yet. Uh, I go for the side shock here. I'm trying to sack it, and he finally stays in as I get a lot of damage on this Gudra. It gets it all the way down to like 10%. And he goes for the Dragon Pulse, and my Latias is finally down. The, that Latias lived way too long for this battle, but I'm pretty happy. It put in a lot more work than it should have put in. I originally brought Latias just as a Mega Glade counter, but since Mega Glade didn't even come, I didn't know what to do with it. It was kind of just switching in, take hits, Thunder Wave, Psy Shock, whatever. Again, we're back to this uh, stage where I just send a Mega Lophany. I don't have to click Fake Out this time. I can click Frustration or Low Kick. I decided to click Frustration for the off chance Tapu Fini came in, but it was, it's a Tangrowth. 
and it does a decent amount of damage, but, you know, not enough. To, this, this thing can outstar me out, and I just won't win that battle. So I have to switch back out. I could have just baton pass, but, you know, it don't matter at this point. Toxpex comes back in for the, like, 10th time in this battle against Tangrowth. He doubles out back into Gudra, which was a really smart play, which actually wasn't Gudra. It was Tapping Community, my bad. He switches out into Gudra at some point in this match. So, yeah, there's that. Apologize for my commentary being so bad because I don't remember. Uh, he goes now. He goes into Mammoth Swan. Uh, while my Tox picks, I went for Poison Jab, I believe, which I do. Uh, he he's doing pretty good job scouting out my uh, Tox picks, going for Poison Jab or Scald, because I've been going for Poison Jab a lot more than the Scald, and that's really smart on his part because you know he can take Poison Jab pretty easily. Uh, now he goes into the Gudra. This was the turn that he went to Gudra. While I switched out into the Skarmory. Now that was really smart because again, now I have to think about what move he's going to go for. Since Latias is down, I don't know what to take. I don't know who's going to take the hit. So I just go out on the Megalopony. I know Megalopony can take one hit, but I, don't, I didn't want it to take one hit. And here you see he goes for the Thunderbolt. I'm really hoping he doesn't paralyze me. And he doesn't. I, I remember the, the Misty Surge result, but at the time I forgot. So I'm thinking, oh no, no, no. Anyway, he goes back in the Tangrowth and it's just the repeated cycle over and over again. I just go for frustration as always, and you'll see, like, frustration does a decent amount of damage. It does, it takes away all of his regenerator health back. It's just, once he starts using Leech Heat and Giga Drain, it's a problem. So here, I believe, now I go for the Baton Pass, which I do. And I believe, I sp I've been saying I believe, I think, like, 50 times in this battle. <laughs> I apologize. I go on the Skarmory, knowing he can't touch the Skarmory, as he goes for the Leech Seed, and... I, I'm thinking I can get my rocks back up to stop these switches as much because he's been switching around a lot I've been switching around a lot and I guess rocks hurt his team a little more than mine because you know regenerator with Toxapex uh, and Recovery with Skarmory and the rocks don't do much to Lopany so I'm thinking rocks hurt him more than me So I don't mind getting my rocks up now. Uh, he just goes back into this Gudra, which ugh, this Gudra is so annoying I go for the stealth rocks here and I believe this is the turn I make a play. This is the turn I make a big play. Uh, he goes, he gets some lychee recovery again, which is, you know, starting to become a little bit of a problem if I have my chandelier out. Anyway, this is the this is the biggest play of the turn, the game in my opinion. He goes for the dragon pulse. I stayed in thinking he I wouldn't like he wouldn't go for thunderbolt. I make the good play and I go for iron head. And this Gudra is finally down. Now this is absolutely huge. This is the biggest turn of the game because Gudra goes down, and now. Offensively, his offensive pressure is only on Mammoth Swan. And now here, I'm thinking, I might just sack Skarm right now. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake, and he mispredicts, and I go for the Iron Head, and down goes Mammoth Swan. So you see where this battle's going. It definitely finally turned in my favor. Uh, that overprediction didn't matter too much, because I did learn that Toxpex can take an Earthquake if it's at max, and then I can Scald it. It would have been dead at that point. Uh, the Gudra going down was a big thing, though. So now here, I'm just trying to stack off Skarmory at this point. Do, do some damage to the Tangrowth. Maybe get some flinches. Uh, he goes for Leech Sheet, probably forgetting I already had Leech Sheet on my Skarmory. Because, you know, two turns in a row, you might forget that way. But since Gudra and Mamoswan are gone, I basically have Chandelure. Once Chandelure can come in, I can just win the game because Tapu Fini is so low. So that's why I wanted the clean switch in. That's why I'm stacking off Skarmory. So he's just going to go for the knockoff, and it doesn't kill me, but the Leech Sheet will kill me. Which is good because uh, he only gets he gets barely any health back from this leech sheet here. So my Skarmory finally goes down. This thing is so annoying. <laughs> it's, it's so annoying. I love it. But uh, now this gives me a nice clean switching into Chandelure. Mm, excuse me. Um, a spec, you know, Spectre, uh, good YouTuber. And now I can just fire off a Fire MZ because it's gonna kill either one of these two mons. He does stay in. Uh, maybe he didn't think I had the Fire MZ. It is my Z Captain, but, you know, a Flamethrower would not have killed the Tangrowth. So, yeah, I decided to just fire off the Z move now. And even if he did switch out into Taibu Fini and Tangrowth came back in, just two Flamethrowers probably would have done the job. And I can live an Earthquake or a Knockoff. Just one. So, this this Inferno Overdrive is going to come out, and I get the kill on the Tangrowth. Finally, this Tangrowth finally goes down. I could not tell you how happy I was to see this thing drop. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. And then out comes the Taibu Fini. Learning that this thing's actually probably faster than me, considering it's uh, an offensive set. I can just bring in Toxapex and finish the game off that way, because it cannot touch Toxapex. And that is what, exactly what I do. Switch out, go back into Toxapex for the last time in this battle, finally. Uh, you'll learn that Tabufini, uh, I learned a little more of its set, now that really matters. It has Surf. 
Uh, it's got Surf. Uh, it's last move is Moonblast. Uh, trick. Probably maybe Nature's Madness. Uh, couldn't really tell you, to be honest. But here, I can just go fire off a Poison Jab after he hits me with whatever. And that, that yeah, there's the Moonblast right there. So he goes for the Moonblast, and I go for the Poison Jab, and I win the game 3 0. Oh. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. I don't want to say very happy about this win because I don't really like playing stall, question, like quote, quote, stall. It's just this Toxapex Skarmory core is just so gross to the point where it's. Like, I had to take advantage of it at some point, you know what I mean? So, that's that's just how the battle went. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I, I'm so sorry this battle was long. Uh, hint, hint for next week. I'm not going to spoil anything because, you know, the week three battle actually has happened. Uh, that is also a long battle. So, my I'm going to try and improve my commentary a little bit. The quality will be good as always, though. Thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to go check out Mike and his links in the description below. Again, sorry if the team builder doesn't go up. I'm not sure what's my computer's acting up. But thank you for watching. Our opponent next week is Reckless Bat and our final division rival. We are 2-0 with a 7 differential, which is really nice. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.